He blanched out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they finally have the floors done. Um, but I wanted to come talk to you guys. So I asked them to do a breakdown to send to um, Flint Hills Underground for the bathrooms and hallway areas that had gotten water damage. So I brought the email that he had sent to me with that total and I forwarded it on to him already. Um, the guy that owns the company, had, he mailed us the check for their portion of the payment for TNT. So I called Nita and talked to her about that. So we will deposit it and then pay that portion of the bill and we'll get okay, it out of yeah. the reserve fund so it does hit her budget. Mm -hmm. And then, because we have to deposit that money in her budget and fund, and then at the end of the year we'll transfer that into the reserve to pay that. It was, I think, $945 that they sent a check for for their portion. So I'm assuming since he did that with TNT that he will do the same thing and just probably mail us the check for his portion of the flooring, which the total they came up with was 2246.52. So I have already emailed that to him and if I don't hear back from him through email, I always call him and make sure he's gotten that. So I have that. Do you guys want to look at that? Oh, so it's the total of the, all, all the flooring. Um, well, that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. So they were not very careful when they took off baseboards through the whole building. There were several of them that they broke big, huge chunks off as they were taking them off. And um, so I had told them the offices we would keep baseboards in and reuse them and that we would reuse the baseboards that were out in the waiting room because those were brand new whenever Jesse put the drywall in. Mm -hmm. They broke baseboards in half, taking them off of Emily's office, so they had to put the, um, the point of code base, I think. It's, it's that rubber baseboard. So they put that in her office because they broke hers and it was gonna look terrible if they put it back. And then they broke some of the baseboards out in the waiting room whenever they took them off and then they duct taped them together and they were painted white oh. and they laid them outside and they got rained on twice. So they brought them inside and had them in the break room and I said, what are you doing with those? Well, we're going to wipe them down and put them back up and I said, they are soaked. They have laid outside in rain for two days and they are broken. Well, it'll be fine. I was like, no, it will not be fine. Those are not going back up in the waiting room. So they had to put that stuff yeah. out there in the waiting room too. Well, they gave me this bill and they've got additions to job that are $557 for the extra baseboards. And we had told them the whole point of getting the carpet squares was so that whenever we have kids come in, if they spill something or have an accident on the floor, it's something if we can't get it cleaned up, we can pull that square up and replace it. Well, they weren't going to leave us any squares. And we were like, well, what happens if this style goes out of stock and you don't have it anymore? So they left us a box, like I had talked to the owner about, and they have on here a charge for an extra box of flooring, too. I haven't had a chance to call and talk to them yet. Yesterday I was going to do it, and we kept having people come in, and I, have, I didn't have a chance to sit down and call. But I'm going to call them and tell them no broken baseboards required you guys to put baseboards back in so we're not paying for that and I don't feel that we should have to pay for that one box whenever that's what I had discussed with them. Right. So if you want to look at those two invoices that he gave to me, you can. Yeah, I, I don't feel that maybe the extra squares. Well, but it was, <clears throat> they said that but they I would talked to him about it. Like, to them I that. talked to him and told him the whole reason we were doing that is so that we can replace and things. He that, agreed to that. And he, he, he told me he understood that, but I don't know that he, maybe he didn't <laughs> understand that I meant we needed to have some on hand to replace. Or that you'd have to pay but you would think that that would be the whole point of me saying that. <laughs> so it, I was just really not happy whenever I opened that envelope and that's what I saw. And I had to have them peel up pieces in the hallway that they had scratched and replace them. Really? Yeah. 
and they were not happy with me whenever I made them do that. And I said, you guys are the people that scratched it. We didn't do it. If we had done it, I wouldn't make you do this, but you did this moving the furniture. <laughs> I would talk to him, and if he had no reason, just send him a check for it. We'll take those off and send it, see what he says. Okay. I, I yeah. bet you it'll go away. Anyway, if you just send him a check for the minus of the switch. Okay. Yeah, because I was just like, you know, you don't break things and then ask us to pay for things that have to be replaced. Yes, that's not right. How many squares of code is there that for be $333? I don't know for sure. I can look and see. It's it's one big Ten. box, but I don't it, I didn't look at the box to see how many were in it. And then um He's just trying to yeah. Um, the next door neighbor, the Sizemores, um, are going to be replacing a roof on one of their sheds. And they said that we've got some branches that are hanging over the fence over the top of their shed that need to be cut down. I went back there and looked at them, and they don't look to be real big branches, but it's more than I think I can handle to cut down myself. Oh, well, you don't even attend. Okay, so it's it's like they're not huge branches. They're they're ones that look like can be handled with like a pair of nippers. Oh, but really? yeah. And you talk to Mark, and he did. Well, he looked at it, and he didn't feel like he could do it. So okay. Mark Thompson. He takes care of the grass out there. So he was there yesterday, and that's why I went out there and looked at it with him. And he didn't feel comfortable getting up on a ladder to cut it over the top of the fence. So, see if Phil's going to be fine. Brian Brown's I can see him. Brandon can go here. Brian Brown's going to be but I mean, I think there's some guys down there. So. Yeah, it's they're not that big. It, they are hanging over the fence where they're going to have to keep a hold of them to get them back over on our side when they cut them down. But they're not. I want to not sure huge. Sure. And um, we still have that spot in the driveway that's just filled in with um, rock from whenever they fixed the um, sewer line that will need to be repaired too. Yep. So, okay, we just weren't sure if it was them who did it or if it was somebody else. So yeah, well, that would be on us. Yes, sir, can do that. Okay. And back to school is going well. So we had, there's a lot of people coming in for vaccines with the new recommendations. And we actually had a had a brief time where we ran out of one, but it was due to shipping overlap. <laughs> I had ordered it and it didn't ship as fast as it normally does, and I think it's because everybody's ordering it all at the same time. It's coming in a day, so we'll get everybody covered, but it's been busy, so that's good. What time is Todd Shaw? As soon as the meeting's over. Okay. What? As soon as the meeting's over? I think right. both should go, one who needs to fill for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll hear it from the uh, lady in the program. You're getting red in the face on that. I know. He's already starting nervous about it. Gosh. Yeah. I'll just say, like, I mean, Emily and I, I can do it at the same time to get it over with. <laughs> you better. Okay, we will. And I told him, I said, you need to hide behind the door and just stab me in the back when I come. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's the other thing. I almost forgot something else with the flooring. So they put up um, transition boards in between the carpet and the tile, and they're too tall for a couple of the doors. So we're going to have to have them shaved down because they don't shut. And one of them is in the bathroom door, um, my office door, and Kaylee's office door don't shut. Why don't you call Jesse and have Jesse do that? Okay. And then that'll just be a the reason why we don't that extra bill. Okay. Yeah, because they took all the doors off and just leaned them against the walls. And it was like, why? Huh. That's and you guys haven't put them back on, or did they do that? They did that. Whenever the doors didn't shut, they went through and took all the doors off the hinges and leaned them against the walls. I'd and make it was sure like, you why? tell them about that. Yeah. yeah, I would tell. Yeah. So, yeah. I will give Jesse a call today then and mm -hmm. have those taken care of too so we have to resolve. <coughs> they do require some vaccines. Are they expensive? 
Um, so for the VFC vaccines, no, because um, if they've got can care, it's can care pays for it 100%, and we actually make money off that because we don't have to pay for those vaccines. So we make $20 off of every shot that we give for those ones. Um, so the state is providing the vaccines? Mm -hmm. okay. We order those through the VFC program mm -hmm. through the state, so we don't have to pay for those ones whenever we get those. And that's just so that they can make sure everybody gets a vaccine. Right. Um, the <clears throat> meningitis is running, I believe, about $130. And hepatitis A, I think, is 50, if I remember so that that's not being provided by the state? That's Those are the private pocket. vaccines. Like, so if somebody pocket. comes in with commercial insurance, yeah. that's... Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, not terrible. They're not the most expensive vaccines that we've got, but, yeah. And those are the two that most people are coming in and meeting, is the hepatitis A and meningitis. So, um, we have been getting the people that have been coming in, the older kids that have been coming in for the meningitis, we've been offering the HPV vaccine, and that one's 280 <laughs> that one's expensive, but, but almost everybody's insurance pays for that, so there's very few insurances that don't pay. So. And then when are you going to start flu vaccine? We haven't gotten them yet, but um, we normally get them by the end of this month, beginning of next month. So we usually start scheduling food clinics up by October. So we start catching the food before it starts going around. Well, good luck on your phone call. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I get it done today. So. We'll get it over with. I, yes, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of August 7th. Second. We have a motion to approve the August 2nd minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. 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 You just probably get that. Suck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here for anything. <laughs> Why does say it work? <laughs> I'm just fanning it. <laughs> I'll make a motion we accept the tax roll correction. Do we have a motion to accept the tax roll correction? Do we have a motion to accept the All in favor? Aye. 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 Passes. See the four-way stop is working well at 5281. It's strange going up there. I mean, we could yeah, have all is. these. I'll guarantee some poor little gals from pull up there and be confused. We got all these road post signs and all these tunnels and everything. Not even up there. Yeah. It will be just a matter of time before we have a. We need to get people in all four ways. So who wants to be the first guinea pig to pull out there and go? <laughs> but at least in there, I'm going through there 70 miles an hour. I'm not going to say that that's not going to happen. <clears throat> I'm oh. more worried about the traffic coming on US 50 than I am US 201. There's enough the truckers that drive that route back and forth that, that have driven that for years and years and years. And it's always been open and I'm afraid my mother's going to blow through here one of these. A lot of them come from the west, they're going to be in some weird way. Yeah. 
they've got a big ditch cut through there. Really? I think yeah. it looks like they're going to put a box around through there. There is a box there. A box there, and it's all dug out for it. So, yeah, it would be a rude awakening down through it. Oh, it'll be that way. A couple months. Uh, three three months. Months. Yeah. Yeah. Better count on four and a half, five then. <laughs> They sent some of them home yesterday, so they won't be back till Monday. They still better look and see if somebody's flying down the road and sets them up. That is. Well, right now we're doing contractors in there and stuff, so. I'm not supposed to park. Lots of parking. Yeah. 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 Did you ever get a chance to go over there and look at that culvert? What do you think of that? Are you doing all they can do? Or do you think those funnel ends will work? Yeah, I mean, there's things. Personally, if it was mine, I would try to clean the grass and catch some of that trash before it got you know, Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. He had a video there when he took me out there. You know, both cold and cold water, and there's about a 30 foot river run around on the south of the edge of it. But if you build the road up where the water doesn't run over the road, it can spray them back up, and uh, it's just going to hold the water on him. <coughs> yeah. Unless they put an additional pipe. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Oh, it's about a mile east of Maxville, where that wild horse runs through. Justin Bosworth can go down there and they've got a double forward, but then all of the crossings after that are the concrete. Yeah, yeah, it's a senior mark right there. I think it's 110. It's just a mile out of Maxville. <clears throat> right up there south of north of the tracks. No. Yeah, it's north, yeah, it's north of the tracks. By the airport? No, no, a mile to the east of there. Yeah. Mile, what did I say? A mile east of Maxville. About one tenth and about a half a mile north. And that's what I mean. You can talk Yeah. I mean, that one forward looked fairly new. Yeah. I told you right I think it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. same. Oh, it's the same. Oh. Just to. But I, well, finally dawned on, well, finally I get this, and now I figured out what the white flags are over there on the 50. <laughs> That's what this is. The gray flag. This flag. So it's a mile east, <clears throat> mile west, or standard? No, that uh, is on the, that's just south of Marcus Curve on the 50. Oh. On the north-south part. It's, it's north of 10th. Yeah. But between the curve and the defense icons and yeah, and actually they come down where that railroad is in off the bar right there. They come south, is what they're going to do with line. They had an angle across the road, which I didn't quite understand. Well, that's just on the board. Why not pull it straight across the middle? Crossing permit for MRI utilities. Second. A motion is second to approve a road crossing permit for MRI <coughs> utilities. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Do we all need to sign this? Um, mm -hmm. Go on. Go on.
Good point. He's got 
Well, he had a tabletop yeah. game. Do then he did, yeah. So, yeah. But yes. so it, it, it takes care of both hospitals and stuff for them. That's actually the best thing. I'll be glad to do it once a year. But, uh, so we have a pyramid. Once a year, they have to take one. So that will involve all the all the issues, fire, EMS, sheriff. Probably October, I think, is when she or her first part of the series. Tabletops. Tabletops. I think it's the first. Tabletop is set for the one my doctor. Yes. Exercise is set for November 2. That's just a resolution we've done after the tax sale to allow people to um, clean off their property and dump for free in the land. So I didn't know if you wanted to do that again this year. Um, I think a lot of people use it, but they I have to take. Should. They have to take their deed out to Darren and show it to him that, you know, they're on there. I think it's a good idea. A lot of people use it, I think. The other day, when you, before the sale, you kind of gave us, tell everybody that it would be in October before they actually get the deed back. But if they buy the property, do they take possession of it that day? Or do they have to wait until they have the deed in hand? We've done it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I've got my money. I mean, it was all defaults. Yeah. I mean, we, I mean, so we have. I got a question. Well, oh. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a if, if it brings more than what the tax liabilities are. Does the previous owner get that? And that, Mary and I have already had a discussion this morning about that. She thinks one of the individuals who have already passed away is deceased. And so if there's no estate, yeah. we'll probably turn it over to the, to the state, state and yeah. it's lost property and but yeah, we don't there was one or two that went over. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know one. I think so. There weren't that many that went over. No, there were a couple. A couple. Yeah. I told you that might be one of the commissioners. That's exactly I brought a travel brochure. Well, the scene I went. Did you say you go to Laredo or where or something? <laughs> That's what I figured. I, somebody asked me that, and I said, "Well, I think so." But I don't know. Yeah. We do our due diligence trying to find. You know, yeah. Some of those could have been bought cheaper privately. Probably than what they spent. Yeah. Well, yeah. If they demand an offer. I make a motion we adopt resolution 2019-4, which is a resolution waiving or discounting landfill fees for persons who have purchased certain tax delinquent properties at the August 13, 2019 sheriff sale. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the resolution 2019-4. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Did you get the uh, letter typed up for Chris Pinkston on the, uh, you know, we discussed allowing him to keep his address, but we wanted him to sign a paper uh, that basically... Uh, somebody was going to give me an address. That's the word to send it. That was probably Yolanda. If you can write Very that up, I will just stand deliver it over to him and have to sign it for his back. Okay, I'm sorry. Very good. Tell me the name again, just so I can make my move. Chris Pinkston. 
do it for you right here. One two one four Northwest Eighty. One two one four Northwest Eighty. I think right now good. she <laughs> might have to do right that. now he's twelve thirteen. He needs he, to move yeah. to twelve fourteen. He wants to say twelve thirteen. Yes, right now he's twelve thirteen. He should be twelve fourteen. We're trying to move him to yeah, twelve fourteen. Get him on the right side. 12, 13. 13. Yes, yes, yes. He's going to stay twelve. He wants to stay twelve thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He needs to pick his own delegates for the. Everybody's going, I think, so. Yeah. That's a pretty clear more of a conversation. That was German, correct? Yeah. I thought the German automatically. The motion failed for last time. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's making a point. I nominated the German. Oh, wait a minute. So she doesn't have a back button. <laughs> okay, so your motion died for lack of time. I guess. Okay. Yeah. You get a second. I'll second. Oh, <laughs> just a minute. Okay, so you got a second. It's a very difficult job. Yeah. yeah. You hold up. Just stay away. Thing. He says SF on it. Oh, really? Just stay away. <laughs> Your point you want. Todd, Todd to be. Well, they'll get a kick out of that. Right? And you need an alternate? Yeah. I can motion. Just a minute, let me get this in there first. <laughs> you need to call for a motion on that. I need the motion. I know, okay. but you need to vote. Oh. You second it. Yes. We have a motion and second that I'll be the voting delegate for the. KAC convention. convention. All in favor. Second. Or first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, did you, what did you say? Are you voting for it? That's fine. Really? Yeah. 3 0. Oh. Okay. Now you're moving for who? For the alternate? Kirk Fairchild. Be the alternate. I'll second that. We have a motion to second for Kirk Fairchild. Be the alternate. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big napper. I might be napping at that point. <laughs> okay. Did, did Jamie Downey call you yesterday and you talked to her, the city administrator or Stabber? No? Well, she was going to try to get a hold of you. Yesterday, but then I forgot about the tax sale. So. Then she had leadership class, so she wasn't there this afternoon. So, you think she'll attempt today, or this is in regards to the letter that the city council received? 
should okay. serve as standing. Okay. I'll see you today. Come here. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ye